Well, Chad, y'all favorite, um, y'all favorite member of Mr. Beast is getting uh, canceled. And then he got let go. That nigga Jimmy let go of that nigga today, I heard. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all don't even react to shit like this because, like, it's, like, really negative and I don't want to, like, build my shit off of negativity because I learned after the Dr. Disrespect video. But then I had seen Jimmy said it, had said something. I was like, damn, this shit getting for real. So before I say anything, I'm going to get all the facts. But niggas are weird. So just yesterday, the dominoes started falling, and now everyone has been weighing in on the Chris Tyson situation, where his past has now been dredged up, and it was revealed that he was- Hey, chat, and I want y'all to know, anything I said, bro, and I am not judging him off the fact that he is, you know, I'm judging off the fact that he's a predator, a child predator. Yuck. Very publicly a fan of some disgusting art that's really just a loophole so that adults can enjoy. Chris was such a big fan of this style of art, in fact, that back in the day he bought a print from this guy named Shadman, who was infamous for creating the stuff, and he went out and hung this up in his living room for everyone to see. Above that, oh, he had some man. eerily similar accusations as it's Dr. Crazy. This nigga had a whole only a few weeks too, ago That's crazy. regarding interactions with one of his biggest fans who at the time was 13 years old. Well now, like what often happens when someone gets put in a situation like this, more people have come forward with their stories regarding Chris, old videos have resurfaced, and more messages have come to light. And I'm going to begin to all of that and more in today's video. First, I did want to talk about some of the tweets and statements that Lava continued to make yesterday, where he says, Can you guys help me counter all of these lies? Chris's messages to me were sent in public Discord servers and groups, but everyone is framing it as if it was one-on-one. -on -one. Chris literally did nothing wrong. So it seems like he's going to be holding true to his original statement that he was not a victim and that he never got inappropriate with Chris. I will say I have seen this guy catching lava? quite a bit of flack online, and I absolutely do not support any of that. The thing is, guys, is when it comes to a potential victim like this guy could possibly be, it's actually very common for them to come out and to defend their potential... You have to remember, this guy was a huge super fan of Mr. Beast and Chris. He probably held them in a very high regard. So the mere idea of losing that relationship and everything coming crashing down around him has probably been very hard for this person, Lava. I'm not saying that anything concrete happened between them. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if this guy, who's still only like 20 years old, is very scared right now. Now this to me is where things start to get very interesting because Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast, begins to be involved. <coughs> so there used to be this guy named Jake Franklin, aka hey, Jake, Jake the Viking, that's my nigga. who would often appear in Mr. Beast. Oh god, he was cool. I fucked him. Him and Chandler, friends. cool people. But around four years ago, it seemed like he was just cut off completely. <coughs> they stopped asking him to be in these videos and eventually he was left to kind of just do his own thing. Well, in the midst of all the drama yesterday, he came out with some tweets. I know the Lava GS they are mentioning in the video, this ain't good for Beast. He also responded to another tweet and says, Chris should tell everyone how old the girl was he was snapping that sent him his first ever pair of Gucci slides. And I understand why he's coming out with these tweets now that 13 all this year is old by this but, nigga. Like, dude, if you knew that some sick shit was going on in the background, especially regarding people who are under eight. The thing is, bro, shit was stuff like this, right? Niggas want to out like, oh, Jimmy knew. But like nigga, it's at the same time, bro. They knew too. Y'all niggas are just as victim too. But since now it's finna play in your favor, you gonna say something because you wanna die a nigga career because I'm guessing you don't work with them no more. I don't know. I fuck with Jake though. He a cool nigga, bro. Like, but I'm just saying, bro. Why didn't you speak up about this before? And in the most cryptic tweet of them all that he would send out yesterday, he would say, "Jimmy knew." Obviously alluding to the idea that Jimmy has possibly known about this behavior for a very long time. I mean, with all of this now coming to light with some of the messages I'm about to show you guys in a second, I'm going to change my stance and say that Mr. Beast has to put out some sort of statement about this situation. He and did here's say a little excerpt though. from this video that was posted four years ago, where Jake talks about disbanding from the Mr. Beast team. Oh, probably, he got a meal sales a or Beast something. Fan, you probably have noticed I have not been in the videos as of late. In fact... 
the last video I was in was hide and seek the first well second hide and seek video that was posted back January some date um, and then after that um, I was no longer asked to be in any videos I was still on payroll still getting paid um, and I took that kind of this is cool I get to sit at home and get paid but at the same time you know what's actually going on and everyone I talked to never really gave me any answers until super recently when finally I was able to meet down uh, a couple people and kind of put everything out on the table and it came down to but my piece no longer fit the puzzle if that, if that's that's the best way to put it so he goes on in this video to actually be pretty respectful that nigga Mr. Mr. Beast really running this shit behind the scenes like a mob boss and at least here which this is like four years ago he says he feels no ill will towards him or anyone on the team but now that more is now coming to light we see that that might not be true Keemstar would also tweet out yesterday Chris Tyson supported the cartoon P artist Shadman that drew my daughter at eight years old in a manner this is a known fact privately me and chris Man, tyson even had fuck? a conversation about this roughly a month ago as it still upsets me which is very understandable and i actually did go back and research this a little bit myself where i found that's an fun, old live crazy. stream from shad man being confronted about drawing these pictures of King star's daughter and even at that time he acknowledged how much of a disgusting scumbag he truly is about to be honest but yeah it's it's pretty weird let's all agree and i think you're co kind of a weird guy I totally am. I, 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 that's my thing. I, I, I totally am. Look, all I'm saying is there's a reason thing. that freaks like that need to hide their face. And the fact that that information was very public back in the day, eight years ago, before he ever purchased that art, kind of just tells me how much of a degenerate he had to be to still be supporting someone like Shadman. They even dug up his old Reddit, which he also had exposed himself via some sort of tweet a couple months back. And they say the joke is that Shadman makes corn out of anything. This right here is apparently Chris's old account. And he says, it ain't corn unless it's got a... Yeah, I'll let you read that. And he also continues on to say, Ah oh, yes, this will make a fine addition to my collection. And something tells me, guys, that fuck? he was not joking. And this is just stuff that Chris was out there posting publicly. Like, I'm gonna need that hard drive pulled pretty soon. And that's if the black SUVs haven't already shown up at the house. And I'm not talking about the FBI's, I'm talking about Mr. Beast's. Now here's where things potentially get even darker for Mr. Beast, as another alleged former employee came out to chat. say this. Hold on, let me turn off the music. Oh, From shit. Outside, Mr. Beast studio. Nah, guys, the fact that that song and Drake's name oh, has yeah. become like, synonymous oh. with these type of accusations is crazy. Hey, I, I, I kind of hate that Drake name got stuck right with this now. shit, though. Here's a cornfield, I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on, what's happening? My name's Dawson, I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, Damn. everything other people Niggas know, ain't she knew too much. I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. So this guy right here who claims to be a former employee is now saying this is only- Bro, for damn, it's still 10 minutes left in this hoe. Fuck, I ain't gonna lie, chat. Crazy thing is, bro, it's like, is that like how it is? Cause like, bro, do all these niggas be running sex houses and weird shit like that through they shit? Like, is there no normal niggas left in the world no more, bro? That's kind of that's kind of crazy. The tip of the iceberg of the crazy things going on at Mr. Beast Studios. I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys. Seeing the downfall of Mr. Beast would be like the most insane story. That shit would be history. crazy, nigga. That nigga Mr. Be Beast really, on top of really the world. Bad right now, for the nigga. platform as a whole, and as someone like this is my job, I'm not thrilled to hear about that. But hey, if there's some sick shit going on, it's gotta come to light. Like I thought this boy Mr. Beast was going to be running for president by the time I turned 40, but his whole operation could end up being taken down by one single person. Now this is where more messages began to surface. Apparently being shared by then 14 year old who was in a snapchat conversation with Tyson back in 2019 and first they're just kind of trying to show the proof that this was the legitimate Chris they click on the profile there 
go straight to his new Snapchat thing he's got going on. And so as you can see, they're having some sort of conversation via Snapchat, which wouldn't exactly be surprising to me as a lot of strange people like to go onto Snapchat because they think, oh, the messages, they're not going to be there forever. And as you guys can see here, apparently Chris is once again calling this person dad, which he was also apparently doing to the lava character we talked about yesterday. And honestly, within these messages, I don't really see anything necessarily inappropriate going on. I mean, I guess he was sending some peculiar emojis, but it's still just weird to me. Like, why were you in contact on private messengers with several people who were not even close to being of age? Like, anytime that's even a thing, I already see that as a huge red... Nigga. You're weird. Fucking weird. Flag, and y'all kind of know where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And as you guys can see, much like their Twitter page, when I go and try and click on Chris's Snapchat, his profile is nowhere to be found, leading people to believe that he's trying to further cover up this evidence. I mean, wiping your socials clean, to me, is never the look of an innocent person. And here's to me where things start getting super f***ed up. Like, if the allegations I'm about to show you are true, oh, Chris is just beyond cook, like, they shouldn't even return to the internet. Now, I will say, these type of videos can be faked, but you would have to be pretty good at digital graphics, just like I said with the, uh, Dr. Disrespect situation. Now, this person came forward anonymously, which I would completely understand, especially given what we've seen that guy Lava go through the last 24 hours and the way people have straight up ridiculed him. But they say, I would like to stay anonymous, but Chris Tyson was texting me back in 2020 when I was 14. I'm 18 now. I commented on one of his tweets. He saw it and messaged me when I was young and I couldn't see what he was doing was and manipulating me, but <coughs> looking back at it, I can see it now. And so once again, this anonymous source just kind of wanted to show proof that they were talking to the real Chris, apparently. And as you guys can see there, they scroll through the DMs, they click to his profile, and that is indeed Chris's profile that now has no tweets. I mean, I'm not saying you would have to be like some sort of computer genius to do this, but to me, this does all look pretty legit. And so the message thread starts apparently in the middle of a conversation, where he says nothing, how is that video turning out? Good. And then he shares a link to a Mr. Beast video, I opened a free bank, which let me check on my phone if like the dates line up. He claims this happened in 2020. Oh my god. The dates line up, everyone. Four years ago. Oh, man. Why did I need to get a why. shiver I check? sent a bit of a shiver down my spine. Like I said, oh, okay. man. So he says, I barely got screen time. I wish you could see me more. To which this person says, I wish I was in a video. And apparently Chris <coughs> says, me too. It's too soon, though. I could introduce you to everyone when you get a little older, apparently. And the person says, yeah, that would be awesome. And at first when I read these alleged messages, I was thinking, well, there's still no proof that the person was like underage. And apparently Chris says, me too, it's too soon though. I could introduce you to everyone when you get a little older, apparently. And the person so that says, means yeah, they that know how young awesome. they is, of course. But then Chris allegedly says, weird. your birthday is coming up, isn't it? Yeah, December 2nd, you're <clears throat> turning 14. This person allegedly says, I don't know where the party will be at. My mom is still deciding. Like, if we're to believe these messages are real, and someone's talking about their birthday to- Yo, so that shit crazy, like, they ain't gonna, ain't gonna, that's really weird. Like, that's the weird, nigga's birthday turning 14. Nigga's not even 16, it's not, it's not acceptable at all, if you under 18, right? But nigga's turning 14, mama's still deciding birthday parties and shit, nigga. Mama's still designing birthday parties and shit, nigga. This nigga trying to fuck on kids that can't even know yet. Like, that's nasty. That's disgusting. You, when you're a grown man, and they're talking about, oh, my mom is still deciding that shit what my birthday is gonna nasty, be at. Like, bro. if it's gonna be at Peter Piper Pizza, like, how many red flags would Boy, there the need to be that? You, you might be doing cheese. something horribly wrong here. And this is where things get crazy. He says, what do you want? I could give you anything. And then this person That's says, crazy. we could play Fortnite. I beat you last time. Meaning they've- What do you want? I can give you anything to a 14 year old. Possibly had some sort of private conversation over games once again. For all you parents out there watching right now. Hey, 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 Mr. Beast, bro. Jimmy, my nigga. 
Real spill, bro. Real spill. This video has nothing to do with me, you, Jimmy. It really has nothing to do with anybody. I'm just reacting to the video on some shit, right? But do not let this interfere with me getting on a video soon. Million dollar challenge. I'm there. I'm your guy. Jimmy, you need someone to take that spot? Let me know. Please deeply monitor what your kid is doing on the game and who they're talking to. That is one of the main avenues that people who are interested in kids will use to talk to them and lure them in. Not saying that that happened here. I'm just saying that rise up to all bro. that shit. If you're not, because I'm sure most of you are very good parents. You don't want anything expensive for your birthday? I could spoil you. Um, I don't know. It's fine. Look at my snap. So what? The channels of communication just continue to what overlap. What the fuck? If this is true. This person just says, okay, we've been here for a while now. I'm tired of texting you is the only thing keeping me awake right now. God. When you leave, we could play Fort or Minecraft. Not the most notorious game for weirdos. I love you. I meant I love playing Minecraft with you. I'm telling you guys, if this shit is real, this whole thing, this whole Mr. Beast operation, Yo, what the fuck? is gonna have such a giant stain on it. And just right now, I'm finding these other things he was sending out, apparently via this Reddit account, where he says, why the f would you use your VR headset for anything other than 3D and that same type of art? Gang, grape, God. I mean, I could see this much more easily being faked, but Jesus Christ. But you can still get teen love. 14 year olds always stay 14. Pokemon came out to say, I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Her name Ava, nigga. Towards minors is unacceptable, regardless of who you are. Well, thank you, Pokey, for the boldest statement of 2024. This also went viral yesterday with this old footage resurfaced. Chris Tyson, old YouTube channel found where he shared revenge pics with his audience of Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly. So uh, recently everybody's been hearing about the Jeanette McCurdy leak of her photo. What the story is, she sent um, pictures to her boyfriend, her now ex-boyfriend, and um, he leaked them out. And um, she is a very popular Nickelodeon star on the show um, iCarly. You'll probably see the photo. Why this nigga giving a fucking some point tonight, maybe tomorrow? Um, because Nickelodeon rap review on this shit. But um, the link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business. But I go what? Uh, you know, people might want to see them, so there, it's there if you want it. So this guy literally comes out to likely his mostly kid audience and says, yeah, like I know how much this revenge can really damage someone's life, how it can lead people to do terrible things to themselves. I don't endorse the spreading of these pictures, but hey, by the way, link in the description. And in the future, I really do want to have a greater conversation, as I kind of had before, about how wrong it is that, you know, viewing adult videos and adult images and the addiction to all that stuff and how it's become so normalized and how it's making so many people pretty much sick in their head. I mean, I can't do anything but pretty much pray for the kids today because they're probably exposed to so much so early on in their life. I mean, I truly do believe that like this the normalization of pretty care. much having that addiction has really damaged our society as a whole. Oh shit. Right as I'm making this video, I just went to check out their uh, Twitter oh, page. Oh, is responded? Ago, the statement has been released. Oh shit! Mr. Beast made the call. The black SUV showed up to Chris's crib. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments. Now nah, we're gonna need more than an apology. You gotta get up there on the stand, big dog. If it hurt or offended anyone, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty f***ed up what you were doing. Seeing my recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast. He said, get away from my brand and social media to focus on my family and my mental health. I'm sorry, but this... Nigga, how you think that nigga kid feel about that shit, though? Because remember, she... Ava Chris Tyson has a son and I believe he's like 13 or 14 
And I'm not saying niggas would do that shit right, but I'm just saying that's nasty as hell. Real spill, that's nasty, nigga. Like that shit, like that shit's fucking disgusting, bro. Like as the mother of the child, I don't know if I feel comfortable having my son around Chris Ava if I already didn't feel comfortable with Chris Ava. Yeah. But it's not my kid and this is your family. You do what you want. Statement is not good enough for me. It shouldn't be good enough for anyone who's like a big fan of Mr. Beast. We need to see more than this. Mr. Beast needs to come out and say something. And this needs to be addressed on a deeper level. Like, this makes him look even more guilty to me. This makes it look like, yes, I was trying to scrub everything. And let me just like make this post real quick before everything gets really bad. What a crazy day. Nah, Mr. Beast, this is the last tweet, bro. You gotta say something. All I gotta say is, what a crazy 72 hours it has been. I also want to put the Shazam disclaimer kid. out there. Everything that I've said in this video is technically all speculation. You shouldn't take any of it as a fact. But oh my god, does this all look horrible? Why every YouTuber? Why every person just like... Yeah, bro, I don't get that. That shit crazy. weird, bro. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think down below. Bro, that shit's weird. Like, I don't understand why, like... What's up with the fetish that niggas have that, like, bro, y'all are grown as fuck. And, like, y'all all, all want to fuck on kids, bro. Y'all want to mess with children. Like, nigga, that's weird. Like, nigga, that's weird. That's nasty. Like, at this point, nigga, ain't gonna lie. I'm not even letting y'all type of niggas have kids in the first place, bro. Because y'all own kids. Don't be safe from y'all. Nigga, that's nasty, bro. <sighs> Shit. I have to pray for y'all niggas, bro, cause like, fuck. Rebuke, re rebuke y'all. Fuck, man. Well, chat, bro, y'all stay away from them types of people, bro. If you know any of them, bro, get rid of them, bro. Call your, call your local dad against Preds, uh, um, thing so they can beat the fuck out of them in a Walmart or... Call the cops so they can go to jail. Whichever one satisfies you the most. But, um, I love y'all chat. It's not a funny matter. And, that people that disgusting should be rid of this world. That's nasty. Yeah. But I love y'all. Y'all stay safe and God bless. Mwah.